Hello, the purpose of this instruction is to demonstrate how to add or edit employment or contract history in the Clearinghouse Results website. If you don't yet have access to the Clearinghouse Results website, you must first register on the portal and receive access. Please see the Clearinghouse User Registration Guide for registration and login instructions at http colon forward slash forward slash aca dot myflorida dot com slash background screening. According to Section 435.12 Parens 2 Parens C of the Florida Statutes, an employer of persons subject to screening by a specified agency must register with the clearinghouse and maintain the employment status of all employees within the clearinghouse. Initial employment status and any changes in status must be reported within 10 business days. To add employment history, open the individual's profile page and select Add Employment Slash Contract Record located at the bottom of the page. Select the provider. Please note the provider drop-down will only display if you are accessing the website on behalf of multiple providers. Select the position that the individual is applying for from the drop-down list. Enter in the date of hire or contract date. Select Save. This will bring you back to the profile page. The new employment record will display in the Employment slash Contract History section. Section 435.06 Parens 2 Parens D provides that an applicant may be hired provisionally for training and orientation purposes before the screening process is completed. You may add a provisional hire date for an applicant with a current screening and process status in the clearinghouse by selecting Add Employment slash Contract Record button located at the bottom of the applicant's profile page. Select the provider. Please note that the provider drop-down will only display if you are accessing the website on behalf of multiple providers. Select the position that the individual is applying for from the drop-down list. Enter in the provisional date of hire or contract date. Select Save. This will bring you back to the profile page. The new employment record will display in the Employment slash Contract History section. You may edit an employee record from the Employee slash Contract History section of the profile page or from the Employee slash Contract Roster tab. The Employee slash Contract Roster tab provides a listing of your employees and the contractors as entered through the Employment slash Contract History section of the individual's profile page. The list defaults to current employees only. From this page, you can view an individual's profile page by selecting the last name of the individual, filter the list by using the search options and selecting Apply, sort the records by selecting any column header, or edit an employment record. Here we will edit an employment record. To do so, select the Edit link under the Action column for the applicant record you wish to update. From here you can switch from a provisional hire to a permanent hire, update the provider, update the position, or enter an end date. Once you have entered the required information, select Save. The new employment record will display in the Employment slash Contract History section. Once again, please remember that the initial employment status and any changes in status must be reported within 10 business days as required by law. This concludes our training on how to add or edit employment or contract history in the Clearinghouse Results website. Please select the Contact Us link at the bottom of the webpage for any questions. Thank you.